Hi, I would like to show you um, this little project of mine called the Kalman filter. So the Kalman filter, it's a filter that takes into that does an estimation of um, what something is, like a position, for example, but also takes into account um, the 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 physics of the of the process. For example, if you use the GPS. Um, let's say you have a mobile phone with GPS and every second or let's say every, every, every couple of times it estimates your position it does it multiple times there's noise on it and then it averages out to get your position well this works fine until you're in a plane or in, a, in something that moves very fast because due to that um, you will estimate behind yourself because on average you were in your previous location so the Kalman filter is a way to take that into account. I've programmed it in C++, there's a Windows executable here, it's on GitHub, which will be Kalman filter. And I will just give you a brief look throughout the program. Alright, so when I start up my program, first thing I'll usually do is get the left side a bit bigger. And what's very neat, I've put in some examples. So for example here we have a constant voltage. And if I start it, then what it does, so in green you see the measured uh, voltage. Uh, in blue you see the actual voltage, which I think is fixed. And in red you see the Kalman prediction that goes around uh, the actual um, voltage. It is a very simple system, but for example if we have an acceleration of cars, uh, I load it and I start it. Then you can see that here we have two variables now. X is the position, V is the velocity. Um, that because the velocity is also estimated and the position as well, then the Kelman prediction, the red, is very close. You actually can't see the difference. Uh, on the very close to the true real value in blue, you can't see it. Um, Alright, so if you do a Kalman filter, you, you need to specify a lot of things. For example, you need to specify the input. So for example, in this case, the car accelerates with a constant velocity. Uh, then the states have names, so X is spot, V is velocity. Uh, so you can put a different filter. There are more, but only the standard Kalman filter is truly implemented well. Uh, it estimates some covariance. You can change that stage, stage transitions that is part of the physics um, I don't exactly have all the details in my head at the moment uh, also the white noise system so I use a standard white noise system I think it's uniformly distributed around the mean um, alright so uh, that's what it does let's take another example like a cannonball let's load it let's start it so a cannonball has a, a location, velocity in the x direction, velocity in y, so it falls apparently apparently falls down, and the velocity. Oh, so the y that's the position, how much vertical it is, and the velocity going down. So apparently it accelerates downwards, and you can see that very nicely here. Uh, but there's also uh, I like the harmonic oscillation a lot. So here we have a spring that's estimated, and we also have uh, with three states. I don't know exactly what it all means, but there's some, some kind of acceleration. All right, if you want to see a bit more detail how the um, how the, the calculation worked, so I, I suggest just pick a simple example like the accelerating car, and you set the time steps to let's say three. All right, and if I now start it won't be very interesting because we only have little time points but now you can turn on the calculation and if you run it with the calculation these graphs will be exactly the same but in the calculation you can see all the steps so at time step 0 this is the state of the system so the, the predicted x the predicted horizontal position equals a times that times that then you have to do the covariance prediction then you do innovation, innovation covariance, the Kalman gain, state update, cal covariance update. So I won't go into details in the calculation, but you can see all of them here. And here's for the second time step. 
and here's for the third time step. So don't do this with a thousand time steps because it will simply be too big and not useful. But you can certainly definitely check uh, the calculation here. Alright, you can also add uh, states. So let's take a, let's let's start with a constant. I'm going to turn off the calculations. Uh, I'm going to do thousand time steps. I'm going to start it going to the graphs again. So here we have the constant voltage again. Then I know I can add state. So let's say I'm, I'm going to add a completely trivial state. I have no idea what to call it. But you can immediately see if I add a state then at the input you get this question mark. State names question mark and here we can put the name of our new state. Let's call it X. No let's call it something uh, to show it's, it's a something and then you can specify the behavior for example here and whatever you do uh, the program will get something out of this alright so I hope I've showed you how to use the Kalman filterer uh, it's very useful in getting to understand what the Kalman filter is and does for the mathematics I suggest you read um, some, some, some book or something else about that alright so that was this video and I wish you a very good day bye